Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would share my glow up routine with you, which basically is just what I do to try not to look like a hot mess on most days. As I grow and add more things to my plate and my life gets busier, I have to narrow down what's really important to me when it comes to self-care. Exercising for mental health, for strength is really important, taking care of my skin and my hair, and just trying to be as healthy as I possibly can without having unrealistic standards is pretty much my goal. So for today, we were working a lot this week on the farm, planting a lot of new trees. We planted nine new trees. We also planted pasture seed and we're really excited for what's to come, but I was kind of a hot mess from just working out in the yard a lot. Working in the yard and on the farm means I'm working with my hands, I'm in the elements, the wind and the sun, so I'm going to have the effects of that on my skin and also my hair. My hair was pretty knotted, so I wanted to do a little self-care, but first and foremost, I try to get a workout in just a few times a week. I don't get a chance to do it every single day. I recently started doing Beachbody. I am not affiliated with them, nor am I a part of the MLM side of it, but I signed up for the app for like $8 a month. I like that there's a T, you can sign up to a BOD group and have accountability, and I'm doing their muscle burns fat, but I'm not really trying to burn fat. Personally, I like to build muscle, and when I was working out at a gym called Hardcore Fitness, it was like cross training. I would do a little conditioning, but I focused mostly on lifting weights. And I got to a really healthy weight. I was really strong. So moving in general, having some type of routine has always been beneficial for my mental health. Obviously the rush of endorphins feels great when you're exercising, but for me, I really just wanna be strong. So I'm always trying to build muscle, make sure I'm eating plenty. Also, I decided it might be beneficial to talk to a chiropractor and a physical therapist about some of the moves that, or some of the things that I'm doing working on the farm, such as moving hay, moving different things, building, planting trees. I just wanted to make sure that I was hinging properly, moving properly so that I avoid getting hurt. And obviously lifting weights and being stronger also having stamina, it's gonna help me contribute to what we're doing on the farm and the greater vision, but also not get hurt while doing it and enjoy it. So um, yeah, I really, really enjoy this program. I'm gonna move on now to 10 rounds after I'm done with this, which is their boxing and combo and weight training program. And there's lots of things, they have bar, Pilates. So I like to switch it up and keep it interesting. I knew on this day that I wanted to do a hair mask treatment because my hair needed a little TLC from not really taking care of it for the past few days. So I decided to do a hair mask. I'm using this product right now, which is supposed to help with hair growth and it's made with natural ingredients. It has peppermint and stinging nettle. Right now I am using a facial radiance serum. This one has niacinamide. Since I am in the elements outside, I'm wearing a hat and sunscreen, but I am exposed to the sun a lot more. So that will have its effects on my skin and I'm aware of that, um, but I love working on the farm. I love what we're doing. And so I'm just gonna take care of my skin as best as I can. And I am noticing a little bit of, you know, my, my skin is aging a little bit more in my 30s than it was in my 20s. I'm definitely on my own journey of self-acceptance. And, you know, we see a lot of beauty standards out there and it can be hard to, um, yeah, keep up with that. So for me, I know that mental and physical health is the first and foremost, most important thing. And then just taking the best care of my skin and hair that I can. Obviously, I want to look and feel good. Um, so I do the best that I can with a skincare routine, try to do facials and hair treatments when I get a chance. I like to use an eye cream. I'm using an eye lift cream right now. I try to bring products down to my neck and decollete. I like hyaluronic acid, so I use three first aid beauty products every night, which is the facial radiance serum, the hyaluronic acid serum, and then also their lip therapy. I had been doing a lot of research in my herbal studies during the summer on fungi and there are so many mushrooms that are beneficial to our body so I started taking a tincture that I loved and made a huge difference in my mental clarity and my energy levels. So once I finished the tincture I actually moved on to the capsules which have several different mushrooms 
in the capsule. And then I'm also taking CBD before bed. This is our Pacific Time CBD tincture that just launched. We also have vitamin D and zinc. This is broad spectrum and it's available now on pacifictime.com. So I've been taking this for several months because we have been working on this for months before we launched. It tastes amazing. So I am so stoked about this formula and you can learn more about it if you go to our website. And then I usually brush my hair and I have to put my hair in braids. My hair gets super tangled ever since the time I was a little kid, like rat's nest in the back of my hair. My mom used to have to braid my hair every day before school. So it's actually part of self-care to make sure I braid my own hair. Otherwise, it's just I'm making my life harder. So I do braid it, which makes life easier because when I take it out the next day, I have these really pretty like mermaid braids or mermaid waves rather and... I like it. I mean, it's really simple. It's definitely become my go-to hair routine, especially when I have long hair. I just started trying out these products called Bondi Boost, which are made with natural ingredients and supposed to help with hair growth. Now, on the crown around my hair, I lost hair after having kids, and then also it's genetic. My mom has a thinning hair as well. So I thought I would try it out and see if it helps with the hair growth around my crown. And then I'm gonna give myself a quick mini facial with my Eternal Clear High Frequency device. I've mentioned in previous videos that I used to do high frequency back when I lived in the city and I worked in skincare, I would go get facials regularly and they often did high frequency, which oxygenates the skin. So I gave myself a little facial, then I just did some relaxing music and stretching before I went to bed. I gotta say, it's hard to give up my morning cup of coffee. I'd love to give up caffeine. I recently uh, stopped drinking alcohol completely. And also I have a really strong sweet tooth, especially at night. So I've been trying not to give in to that. I really like black licorice. I'm like, I'm a sucker for candy and stuff too. So I've tried to cut back on that, but coffee has been tricky. I still love my cup of coffee every morning. So I just try to drink Four Sigmatic coffee. I really like their mushroom coffee and I drink the adaptogen coffee. So it's actually different mushrooms than what's in the mushroom capsule. So I get a nice variety of mushrooms and I really like how that coffee makes me feel. So I haven't quite given up coffee yet, but I felt like I needed it, especially this morning. And when I wake up in the morning, I am a little puffy, just like a little tired. I need to make sure to drink plenty of water. I am putting a little bit of bronzer on my skin. This is a Chanel bronzer and then a little bit of mascara and then I'm gonna take out my braids. My hair will definitely be pretty big when I first take them out. I like to take a waver and just sort of clean up some of the waves so that, uh, yeah, it's just a little bit more clean and I get those really pretty mermaid waves. And yeah, that's it. Like I'll just add a few and that hairstyle stays nice through the rest of the day. So that's my average glow up routine. And then every once in a while, I'll throw in a more head to toe pampering routine, which I know you guys like to watch, but on an everyday basis, this is what I try to stick with in terms of, uh, yeah, keeping myself together. So I'd love to know what you do, what some of your favorites are, exercise programs, maybe supplements, also skincare products. Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.